Sometimes it's important to not overlook simplicity. Here we're going to look at a diluted irrigation tank for cannabis production. Okay, if you're looking to add fertilizer into your irrigation water, well, simply diluting it in an irrigation tank and pumping it out to the plants can be an effective way. So here we're going to cover using fertilizer in a diluted irrigation tank for cannabis production. So this is by far the simplest method. So if a grower is irrigating from a tank anyway, this makes sense and is an easy method for adding fertilizer. It only requires a water tank and a water pump, and I put even maybe, you can potentially even gravity feed it to plants if you're using drip irrigation. So very simple, uh, doesn't require a lot of parts, and typically parts growers might be utilizing anyway. So looking at the two options here, or two components that you would potentially need, be the tank and the pump. Tank should be blocked from light to prevent algal growth uh, as it can be increased due to the addition of diluted nutrients in the water. So we can see here, simply putting black tarp in some way blocking the light, spray painting the tank in some way can also help potentially heat it uh, and also prevent al al algae from growing on the inside. Then we have the pump to make sure the components can handle the salts or nutrients that will be added to the water so you're not wearing out any internal components as this may cause corrosion and or wearing out the pump parts faster than if it just was normally with irrigation water. Then uh, this does require some calculations, uh, so it's not just a kind of mix and let go. The amount of fertilizer to add should be added to the tank and allowed to mix fully with the water. You don't just want to go in through and splash in your nutrients and just let it go. S recirculating that, mixing that up in some way is definitely advised. You don't want to have the fertilizer set on the tank either, especially if it sits for a period of time, as this could increase the odds of plant damage, especially if the water is being applied uh, to the leaves or via head um, irrigation methods, overhead irrigation methods. Also, if you're not using the whole tank and it settles to the bottom, your plants could get a much concentrated, more concentrated dose than you'd want, and that could also cause plant damage. So again, keep a couple of these few things, simple things in mind. Might be a, a set of you already have in place, go through, add it. You don't need any special equipment and the plants will thank you.